Nothing's better than running, but I still like these. <gasps> this one's really cute. Yeah, I'll come and show you in a sec. Okay, she needs a steam. Look at me, I'm just a milkmaid. Good morning, my skin is getting better. Still kind of bad all over my arms and hair. But a good mood, look. Look, smiling. Okay, this is important. And look how tall my sunflower is. Just water him a bit more. Guys, so proud. This is a banner that I made for my husband's birthday, which was in May and it's now July. I probably shouldn't be showing that off that I left it up there, but I want to show you how cute it is. Look, I cut out all these letters and I bought little pegs and then I just hung them up. And in case you're interested, this is Sir Crumbs a lot. This is Wookie. This is Marshall Erickson, this is Larry, and this is Magnum. And yesterday, all my envelopes came for sending my necklaces out. And I just, I've decorated them all, so I drew little hearts on them and put little stickers on. I've been trying to learn the piano. Suck. Nothing to do with you. <laughs> I haven't been like taking pictures or videos or even looking at myself much in the mirror recently because of the whole face situation. The other morning I woke up and um, Magnus had to like pull my eye open because it was so swollen. Um, I couldn't open it and it was all gooey like. That's gross, I probably shouldn't tell you. But I'm feeling better about myself. Still quite bad but I'm trying to only say positive things so instead of being like oh my skin still sucks I'll be like okay my skin is better than three days ago I put on outdoor clothes so that I'm not just sitting all day in my pajamas um, these are jeans I just got from Fashion Nova they sent me a couple outfits and I love them so much I am a big believer in straight leg jeans they are better than skinny jeans Fight me. So I just ran downstairs to get some, to get a package. Yes, more wire. So that I can make more necklaces. Little pearl beads. Oh, they are sweet. I can't wait to step on this bubble wrap later. Oh, yes. Five new beads. Oh, ooh, a new green. And a new blue. I haven't had these blues. More letter beads. So that you can order, you can tell me what name or word you want on your necklaces. Set up here, look at Larry. I'm watching New Girl. I'm repeating the whole season. Good on my necklaces laid Ooh, out. Scary. This is my favorite part. Chase. She is beautiful. Lettuce for the environment, even though they hurt my teeth when I try and bite them. Got my coffee, got my lobster. I'm gonna do some necklaces. I'm gonna have a, an appointment with my psychiatrist soon. About my medication. Kind of bummed out about it because I have to be on this for like years or forever basically and kind of bumming me out because like I just don't want to have to do that like every day but also I do want that like I want to be better I want to do better and these books I'm gonna start um it's called I Hate You Don't Leave Me my therapist told me to buy it and read it it's understanding the borderline personality and then my therapist told me to read this she actually told my boyfriend to read it she told Magnus to get it um, Stop Walking on Eggshells, second edition. It's just about BPD as well. Even things like this, 
getting the books, buying them, having them, I am counting that as like me taking a step. So it may be little, but I'm on my way. I'm kind of bummed about the whole medication thing because the medication I read reviews and stuff, or like I looked up people on Reddit who are on the medication, and the whole point is that it's supposed to numb how you feel. When you're low, you won't go as low. When you're high, you won't go as high. Um, and I read a few people who were like, mm, I've gone completely numb. Like, yeah, okay, I don't cry over a cracked egg anymore. Like when I mess up my breakfast, but I don't cry like ever, never. And it's kind of freaking me out because I'm gonna miss my highs. I'm gonna miss being manic and really happy and like happy tears and just kind of nervous but I know it's the right thing to do. Just I'm worried that I'm never gonna feel my euphoric highs anymore. But I know that it's like, it's not fair on me or anybody around me to constantly be around my ups and downs. And even though the ups are nice, like the whole, I'm all jumpy and fun, there's always consequences, whatever. How satisfying is this? Going from a plastic bag I'm packaging orders for my boyfriend's brand. My favorite thing to do. I love packing to Justin Timberlake. everything and I don't want to become a hermit crab that's like only hanging out with myself and my boyfriend all the time but good news my pink box came Magnus bought this for me I put it on my Amazon wishlist and he bought it for me as a surprise and I'm so excited I'm gonna start painting I'm making a little lunch for us because I always forget to eat when I get really excited I'm just making like a Rovita snacks I made a snackable lunch things because we're having a roast chicken for dinner. So back to opening my packages. Jade of Monkey. I love. Ooh. Safe mask. Stay safe ladies. Bikini. And a denim top which I will also try on for you. I'm feeling really down. And I don't know why. I have no reason. But I'm so happy before. My moods just always go like... It's so annoying. But... That's what the medication's for, ladies. I'm moving forward. Mate, what did I tell you? Straight leg jeans for the win. Guys, I love them. I love you, Jaden. Whoops, still got the tag. This is the top. Look how cool it is, you guys. I should probably push my boobs in so that they like come together and form a cleavage so they don't look as fake as they are. I don't think I'm gonna wear this top for a while because unfortunately my allergic reaction rash is all over my body, but still. I look cute again, thanks to Jaded. I don't have many clothes here because, like I said, 
I don't have access, I've lost access to all my belongings and my stuff. So I'm really grateful when people send me stuff. Jaded sent me this, Fashion Nova sent me this. You guys are saving my life right now. I would look a bit frumpy if I sound like that. Should I tell you right now it's all about angles? Look how I'm sitting, me, not the best. But imagine I'm standing like this. Boobs are popping, waist looks skinny. See what I mean? And then I'm like, but I'm such a fraud. I didn't want to say. Feeling really down, especially about how I look. I know it might not seem like a big deal to others, but to me, like I'm just getting really frustrated having this on my face and all over my body like it's all over my arms my legs like my shoulders and my tummy like i wanted to try on the bikini that i got sent but i ended up not doing it because i was too scared to look at my skin in the mirror i don't know i'm just like a big believer in when you feel like you look good then you feel good too I'm gonna go ask my boyfriend if I can sit on his lap for a second because that always makes me feel better. And the problem with being like really happy or like really high up in my moods is that like one small thing can make me feel really crappy and like I'm so high I'll just fall off like really far. I went to Magnus and asked for some cuddles and kisses and I got that and I feel so much better and it's wonderful and I'm now cooking because we are having a roast tonight that's all I'm waiting for the roast so I thought I'd sit down and do my journal I'm going through my DMs on Instagram like my message requests and they're just putting me in such a gooey mood. I feel so warm and fuzzy, pardon the pun. Just like all these little paragraphs that people are sending, like these people don't even know me, never met me. And it's just really sweet. That's so sweet that somebody took their time to write that to me and send it. I do try and read most DMs, but I don't always get to which sucks and it, I can't always reply to all of them. Guys, I'm literally gonna cry at these. Someone said, Fuzz, I really don't wanna preach, just wanna thank you and I'm willing to seek help. Oh, someone said, hey, I just watched your recent video. I wanted to let you know that you've put a big smile on my face. I don't know what it is, but I really want you to be happy overall. You seem like a really, really nice person and I wish I had a friend like you in my life. Take care. Oh, really, really sweet. Thank you so much. Happy tears, I swear. I'm really grateful for all of the messages I get. It really means a lot. And like, I think the best is when people say, um, hey, you made me feel a lot better, or oh, you inspired me, or oh, I don't feel so scared to show my scars anymore. When people say things like that, that's like the coolest. I think that's like the thing I like the most. Um, but yeah, thank you. I'm like so grateful for everyone that's been really nice and literally I'm so grateful for anybody that's messaged me, um, like DM'd me, texted me. That's really sweet and I'm really sorry that I haven't been replying to people. I just like I don't, I know it sounds weird, it seems like something so simple but I don't have it in me to like communicate with people right now. But I'm really grateful. Like I love reading all of the messages that people send. And they all really help and make me feel better and always make me smile. I'm crying, yes, but it's happy tears, it's good tears.
and I keep thinking about that person that said like, I just want you to be happy overall, and I wish I had a friend like you. I just feel like I've been a really bad friend recently because I haven't been there for people. But I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna be there for my friends. That's like part of the reason I wanna come back and like get my life back together so that I can be there for my friends because they're always there for me. They're literally like the greatest and the coolest people in the world. Okay, I need to stop. I'm gonna go. I have to journal every day. Like I have to write down my moods. Um, so I have to monitor my cycles every day of like how I feel. And I wrote a key. I'm gonna read it to you because you're here. Okay, so key for moods. So I'll start at one. So like if this is a scale of one to 10, so one. I wrote, number one means drowning in sad, help, desperate, can't see straight, head trying to hurt me, irrational, help me. But number two, really upset slash worked up, super low, bad thoughts, numb, need love and help. Three, feeling quite down, need cuddles, might see tears, bit defeated and low and sad. A four out of 10, bit grumpy, sometimes don't want to talk. Five out of 10, don't really care, tired attitude. Six out of 10, not bothered by much. Seven out of 10, content with everything with a smile. Eight out of 10, quite jolly, just chilling, smiles. Nine out of 10, really good mood, smiley, just basking in the happiness. 10, on top of the world, can do anything, so happy, want to squeal and jump, happy tears, pure love. So that's my scale of my moods. There haven't been that many 10s. Here's a 10. Tuesday 30th of June, 8.30 p.m. Mango, like this, made me super happy. Mango surprised me by getting me a painting set and books. I was so happy that I cried my eyes out. Big 10. Dinner's ready. It may look a mess, but she's gonna taste beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so good morning. It is Monday the... 6th of July, um, and I am having a party. Um, I'm actually having a coming back to party, coming back to society, to reality kind of party. Um, let me walk you through it. So I'm going to see my friends for the first time in a long, long time, and since things happened. So I wrote them out, like, I wrote them all a letter to, um, like, an invitation to come over. I wrote it. I wrote it out and I posted it to all of them. You are cordially invited to my coming back party. And then I wrote a whole itinerary on here. And it says, first you will all arrive together and I'm going to be really happy and give you a tour. Then I will head to the kitchen where I'll make my ice latte for you and we'll sit around the table and catch up. And then we'll start decorating cupcakes. Listen, you get the point. Um, anyway, let me show you what I have planned. I baked these cupcakes last night. Yep, I know, guys, I know. <laughs> Listen, they'll still taste great. There's my necklaces, put out some candy, put some flowers there. That's my huge sunflower, look how great he's doing. And obviously we are going to make necklaces together. Super excited. Um, been prepping for this for a long time, I've been super anxious. Both last night and the night before at like 11 p.m. I was like running around hoovering. And I put on the itinerary, I'm gonna make them brunch and then lunch slash dinner, I don't know. And I'm making them a cheesy pasta, broccoli, bacon, bake. So I've got a new paint set so we might paint together and we're gonna make necklaces and we're gonna play board games, articulate, maybe scrabble, maybe play some cards and I've also got a big beer pong set so I might play that but wine pong because we don't really drink beer then I'm going to play the piano for them yes I have a piano recital I'm going to show them my new I can say skill I'll call it a hobby because <laughs> I'm not very skilled at it guys I'm tired they're coming in like an hour I'm not wearing a watch don't roast me welcome back to my room Welcome back to my makeup tutorial. Okay, eyelash tutorial because I just got my lashes and put mascara on. 
you want to know how I keep them all plump and juicy and like all shiny, I don't know if you can see. I sleep with Vaseline on every night and when I wake up in the morning I use a flannel one under hot water and scrub all the dead skin off so that they stay all like. And no, they're not fake, everyone always thinks they are. Um, but guys, guess what? I'm Filipino, so what do you expect? Um, I thought I'd tell you a story while I do my mascara. So yesterday, so I was scootering and I wanted to go to the big Sainsbury's because they have got everything there. When I got there, it was closed and I was so worked up. I was like, no, this is not happening. I called Mango and I was like, what do I do? Where do I go? And he was like, I don't know, Google somewhere else. And I was Googling, but I don't really know East London very well, so I didn't know all these streets and which way to go. I was just really upset and I was trying to text Magnus while I was scootering. And I crashed my scooter into a car and I was just like, oh my God, this is it. Like, I can't do it anymore. I'm so stressed out. And I got really worked up and my emotions just took over. And I thought, F this, I'm not doing it. Like, and I just left my scooter there. Cause I was like, I can't scooter, carry all this stuff and text and Google where to go at the same time. And it was just outside the apartment. So I texted Magnus and I sent him a photo, took a photo of my scooter, sent location and said, I left my scooter here on the street. Can you please come and get it? I need to go to the store before they shut. And so I started walking to the store and I sent him a location. I said, please come down and get my scooter. I can't take it with me. Like I'm, I was just too stressed. And then I was just walking to the store and Magnus was like, come on, calm down. Where are you? And then he went to the location where I sent my scooter was. I said where my scooter was. And it was gone. And he texted me and he was like, someone's taken it. I was like, no, they haven't. Why did we do that? So then I started panicking and I was by the shops and I ran back as fast as I could. And Magnus was nowhere to be seen. My scooter was nowhere to be seen. I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? I phoned him and he was, I was like, where are you? He was like, I'm back inside. Well, I said, do you have my scooter? He was like, no, it wasn't there. And I was like, oh my God, someone's stolen it. And I broke down. Mate, the episode that I had was so unnecessary, but I just lost it. I was in the street and I was screaming like bloody murder. I was like, where's my scooter? Because I literally left it there for maybe like seven, eight minutes. It was so crazy. And so I started screaming like crazy and everyone started poking their heads out their windows and looking at me and like, they were all like, I'm so embarrassing. I can't believe I let that happen. And I kind of just went crazy and my guess had me screaming, came down trying to calm me down, like out of control and completely out of order. I was like manic and I was like, I have to go upstairs and print a photo of my scooter and make posters and stick them everywhere. And so I ran upstairs, did that, and I took a photo of my scooter that crashed because that's what I sent to Magnus. Went on the computer, printed it off. I'll see if I can put a photo of what my poster looked like here. Hopefully Magnus can teach me and I really have to do that. Is it there? I don't know. Like, I was bawling my eyes out. I was crying so much. Um, and Magnus was just sat there, like, he was really skeptical. He was like, people aren't going to return your scooter. Anyway, I ran outside with duct tape and started taping it around all the trees and all the lampposts. And I was like, I have to find my scooter. And then I called 999 earlier as well. And I was like, someone stole my scooter. Oh my God, I filed a police report. Let me just show you something. There she is. It's actually a he, don't know why I said she. I'll explain why that's there. Um, and then I, I calmed down. Magnus took me to the shops, we came back. I was just really upset. I think 9 p.m. And I got a call and it was, I was like, hello. And she goes, darling, I've got your scooter. I was like, oh my gosh. And part of me was like, suck it, I told you putting up posters would help. But guys, I don't even know what to tell you. Anyway, this woman, she told me that she took my scooter when she came out of her building to put her trash away. And it must have been just as I walked to the top of the road. Um, and she was like, yeah, I saw your pink scooter 
and it was covered in like Hello Kitty um, stickers and I was like oh my gosh I have to have that because I love pink I love pink so much and I was like oh my gosh no way me too <laughs> whatever and then so I went downstairs to meet her and she came out wearing a big pink flowy dress and pink slippers it was adorable and then she explained she told me like a whole story about how much she loves pink and then she even took out her phone and showed me a video of what her apartment looks like and her apartment has like a pink fridge big pink bed pink tables everything's pink i was like kind of jealous it's kind of scary but <laughs> um but it was nice yeah i got my scooter back and so i probably shouldn't have gone as crazy as i did don't leave your scooters on the street when you're having a tantrum that's the moral of the story update i got called um i've laid out the table put some candles down and i put larry there and i put sir crumbs a lot over here in the living room i put magnum there marshall erickson there cooper there toothy and mini fresh there let's see if i can get this even mildly right <coughs> your problem not mine good morning agnes is having a little meeting in the living room hence why i'm in here and whispering oh yesterday was so good i'm gonna call it a 10 out of 10 success best time ever i did everything that i said we were gonna do and made necklaces the girls love that so much we decorated cupcakes i made a cheesy pasta bake we baked very good pancakes together Everyone got a teddy to hang out with. I did my piano recital. I don't think I messed up. It was really good. I had the best day ever. I actually filmed little bits and bobs of it, not the whole thing, because, um, guys, I was just having too much fun. I was enjoying myself. And I even took the girls through my whole scooter story, and then I took them downstairs to see my posters that I had left all around the street. And I took them to read them. And you know what? I'm a little bit hungover. A little bit. Here's what yesterday was like. I need to portion so small. Because, <laughs> um, I'm just going to taste test her. Yeah, yeah. That with no sugar. With no sugar. Oh, is that right? <laughs> I'll tell you. Um, we have a question for you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? Why have you done this? Why did you put your juice? Like on your pancake. So disgusting. I saw me do it and just thought, oh. Um, Walked around the corner, came back and it was gone. It seems silly, but this scooter is my life. I've had it for four years and it means the world to me. So this one. If you have it, please return it. I'm heartbroken. Why does his butt look like that? Last one I ever found. You showing me the picture of Matt Magnus Googling has a long time. I know. So we're doing cupcakes. No, we're not. I made this. Did you want to show what? No. <laughs> Come on, let me see what's behind that. <laughs> I'm turning it into a pepper now. Because it was a banana. <laughs> That's a and cute the, banana. And it's a pepper now. Hello, excuse me. Thank you. Wow, oink oink. Oink oink poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck oh what's that? <laughs> That's so I'm realistic. Sure. No, I'm gonna get scanned for nudity. Don't nipple. Hey, what is it? Did you put hair on? Oh yeah, my gosh. <laughs> I have to use the space. Can you hold the boobs? You know, a little yeah. bit lower the boobs. A yeah. bit lower. Yeah, there you go. I don't understand why. Yeah, someone's you actually fine, and I know it's Charlotte. I know it's Charlotte. <laughs> Here's our cupcakes, very cute and sweet. And no, can you not? Can you just wait until I finish mine? <laughs> no, Viva, you don't get to. Viva's just started. Don't know why. Just wait. Because she was posting Howdy, isn't it? 
<laughs> I am. You don't. You don't. Oh my god, the chocolate! You don't get up. Wait, what's this one? I haven't seen this one.